All right, we're going to do a quick tour through OpenSCAD and particularly with the Liberator 12K project. So I have the files already downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Liberator 12K meta directory. I'm gonna open resolution. Now this is mostly so things render quickly and you know this is easy to show you. Change that to low, it's gotta be all capitals. And then we're going to open, I'm gonna go up to forend and we're going to open topbreak.scad. So that's where we find the CAFE12 file, the source code of this project. So when I open that, it's going to start rendering that file. If it doesn't, just go ahead and hit F5, and it'll begin rendering that file for you. Now, the thing I want to focus on over here is this customizer panel. Um, most of the files in the project have something for this customizer. So. The customizer is just included with OpenSCAD, but there's certain things I can put in the source code, and you can see them here, lines 36 and on. Uh, I can put those comments in and options in there so that you can actually change different parts of the gun um, or render certain parts or you know set up cutaways or transparency or hide things. So that's what the customizer is good for, and lots of the project uses that already. Now, another important thing that it can do is you can change out vitamins. So when this finishes rendering, I can show you. Uh, in the vitamin section, we have uh, drop downs to select, you know, for instance, go from in four bolts to 832 bolts, uh, or you know, a quarter inch bolt to a six millimeter bolt. So those, uh, or M6 bolt, those settings are inside the vitamin section here in the customizer. Fine tuning is where we'll uh, include clearances or any kind of you know specific changes to the design that don't fit into you know just what is the part and how big is it. Uh, branding that is also the logo on the side of the gun, and in the top right case that's this right here, which is the okay. We're done rendering now. You can see cafe. So okay, so this is. OpenSCAD and the Top Break Cafe design. Uh, there's one other feature I want to point you to here. The default design in the Top Break uh, in this drop down here is the Cafe 12 Plus. There's also a metric version. There's a version that uses pipe, which is the Cafe 12. The FP37 is the 37 millimeter flare launcher, uh, but we're going to go ahead and use default values, which are the uh, Cafe 12 Plus settings. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and go to hide editor because I don't actually need to see that. And I'm also going to hide console because I don't need to see that. So to move around in OpenSCAD, the right click is to pan around up and down. Left click lets you rotate around the model and the scroll wheel lets you zoom in and out. Uh, this reset button here will take you back to the origin and this reset view and move your little cursor back to the origin, which is the firing pin hole basically and uh, you can zoom out and orient yourself from there. Other super handy buttons are these two right here, let you get the left and right sides of the gun, or right and left sides. And that's kind of the most useful thing and one of the most common buttons that I push all the time. So I brought you into the top break file so that I can show you the assembly. Uh, I'm gonna start turning on parts here and you can see them start appearing in the model. Uh, some of them will take longer than others. I'm gonna start turning on the hardware um, for the gun. Show hardware. That's going to take a second to render. Those springs are, uh, kind of a complex part to render. But they look better when, like, actual springs instead of just some dummy stand-in cylinder. Okay, so there we go. So the receiver is all transparent right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make the anything transparent or not. So these alphas are set down really low, which is why all the parts back here are uh, see-through. But let's go ahead and set the forend to be transparent. Let's bring down the forend itself. And let's bring down the collar. There we go. And bring down the foregrip cluster, the foregrip itself, the vertical foregrip, and the sight post. 
So we have transparencies on all that stuff. Uh, now there, you can also see in the latch here and the extractor. I'm gonna pan around here. Uh, so those are the latch bars, latch bar springs, the extractor, extractor spring, extractor retainer pin. Uh, so we're gonna transparency the extractor and you can see the extractor itself, the bit. We can also transparency the latch and you can see the bolts that bolted up through there. Uh, ignore this bolt here. It's supposed to be located in up here, but uh, I'm working on a branch that's broken right now. So <clears throat> the last piece is the receiver front, which is this guy right here. And there's the full transparency of the gun. Kind of a quick pan around. Now the transparency isn't all 100% effective. Like, so watch this charging handle is going to obscure a bunch of the parts below it. Uh, there are some quirks to how OpenSCAD renders uh, transparency, but for the most part, I've tried to make it really intuitive and you know able to see the important things that you want to see. So that's transparencies. I'm going to reset back to where we were. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on cutaways so I can cut away the forend. All right, so there's the forend cutaway. Now I can cut away the collar. There we go, you can see most of the stuff there. Uh, I'm gonna close that, or put those back. Uh, I don't know if the entire forend will, or the foregrip will uh, split down the middle. Yeah, that won't. <laughs> but, uh, you know, something to work on. Here's the vitamin stuff I was talking to you about. Um, you can change what different things are. So from an 832 to an M4, you can change the clearance on most of these things. Um, they're all named with whatever they do. If you're curious, just change them, play with them. Uh, you're probably not gonna break it. You can always just reset the, the thing. And uh, you know, you're know you not really gonna permanently break it. So yeah, that's kind of the quick tour around here. Fine tuning, so yeah, that's how I set the pivot here. Some of this stuff can actually be tweaked and you can play with it, but it won't be compatible with any other gun. Uh, and then, yeah, a little branding there. Put, uh, I am awesome there. And you can have an awesome rifle as soon as it finishes uh, rendering. Anyway, that's the uh, quick tour through OpenSCAD with the top break uh, cafe design from the Liberator 12K project.